It's time for... What's Your Name? Gentlemen, the rules are simple. Answer correctly and you win the game. Are you ready? Yes? What's your name? John. Brandon. Jungle! Oh. Yes! Huh? Correct! <laughs> <laughs> yes! You're really good at this. Well, you give good clues. Thank you. Thank oh, you. hello everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And you're watching the, the So and So, so show. show. Well, we're practicing for our next game show. Mm -hmm. It's called What's That Word? I've never seen it, but the rules seem simple enough. You pick up a card and you read the word. Silently. Right, I made that mistake earlier. <laughs> and then you give the other player a one word clue to help them guess the word on your card. Yeah, and if we guess correctly, oh, we win a point. And if we get the most points, we win the game. Yeah, we're doing some practice rounds with each other. So how many points do we each have? Oh, um, let's see. I've gotten six clues correctly, so mm -hmm. I have six points, mm -hmm. and you have zero. <sighs> hey, but it's not your fault. I think you're just better at giving clues than I am. Well, well, that's why we practice. Right, yeah. Here, try another one, and uh, Meet. Uh, don't, don't say the word. <laughs> I won't. Okay. I won't hear you. <clears throat> oh. The word is sword. <clears throat> Purple grape. Ah, oh, no. Okay, no, it's not. Um, uh, oh, butter. Melt? Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Sasquatch. Purple butter and Sasquatch. What could this possibly be? Ah, it was sword. So, sword? Why yeah. didn't you just say sharp? Well, because not all swords are sharp. How is purple more relatable to a sword than sharp? Oh, you remember on my eighth birthday uh, when we played knights and I had those those purple swords? Yeah, yeah, but that's that's not the first thought that would come to my mind uh, when I hear the word purple and, and, and butter. Oh, well, the saying, uh, like a hot knife through butter? Yeah? Well, a knife is, you know, basically a tiny sword. Well, then why did, wouldn't you just say knife? Well, because not all knives are swords. Oh, okay. Okay, so so what about Sasquatch? Sasquatch? Sasquatch. It starts with an S. No, it's an S word. S word. Sword. Okay, I never would have made that connection. At all. It's no use! I'm a terrible clue giver! We should just throw in the towel! No, no, come on, come on, buddy. I'm sorry. I was just getting a little frustrated. Here, just, just do another one. I think you can do it, okay? Come on, come on, come on. No, you can't come guess. Come on, you can do this! You just have to, you know, think before you give me the word. Try, try to give me some action words instead of descriptions. Maybe that'll help me guess better, okay? Action words? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, okay. why don't you all play along with us? Oh, come that's too much pressure. You've got this. Come on, come on, come on. Action words. Taste. Tongue. Hey, that's right. <laughs> yeah, do another one. Do okay, another one. okay. Uh, uh, pedal. A, a bicycle? Yeah. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, sprint. Uh, run. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, speak. Uh, speak. Speak. What do we speak? Uh, 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 words. Yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> See, you can do it! Thanks to your advice! <laughs> oh, bonus round. This time, no cards. Ooh, a challenge. I like it. Perspicacious. Oh, Kellen. 
It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. Hey. hey. Are you playing What's That Word? We are. are. Are you a fan? Huge fan. I've been watching that ever since I was a kid. Me too. Yeah, it's taught me how to choose my words carefully. Same here. It's so important to choose your words carefully. And actually, that's what our verse is about today. Oh, then take it away, Kellen. All right. Our verse comes from the book of Proverbs, which is a collection of wise sayings, most of them from King Solomon, who was known as one of the wisest men on earth after he asked God for wisdom. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18 says, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. That's true, isn't it? There's so much power in what we say. Our words can hurt or heal another person. But to help us break down this verse a bit more, here is our dream team, the nicest and wisest, our very own encouragement duo, Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. Hey, Dee Dee. Yeah, Jackie? You ready to use your words? Oh, sure am. That'll be a first. Words have power when we use them. They can cut just like swords. If we're not careful when we speak, you'll become just like Jackie. <gasps> Woo! That doesn't even rhyme. Well, you wrote it. Not that part. Oh. I improvise. And that never works. Whoa, hey, ladies, is everything all right? Hey, hey Kellen, Dee Dee changed the cheer that I wrote. Oh, I improved it. Didn't sound like it. It did sound a bit unkind, Dee Dee. Well, she started it. Why don't we try again? This is actually a really good example of the verse. If we're not careful with what we say, our words can hurt people's hearts, especially those close to us, like friends and family. It's just like we read in the verse. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords. But I'll bet with a little self-control, Jackie and Dee Dee can use their words better. Let's find out. Hey, Jackie. What? Are you ready to stop being a thoughtless person? Oh, I have some wisdom for you. W-O-R-D-S, everything Dee Dee does is a mess. W-I-S-E is something that Jackie will never be. How's that for a rhyme, Ken? Um, that was... Oh, thank you, Kellen. Still thoughtless. Thank you! Ha! Oh, I actually put a lot of thought into that one. What's going on? Did something happen before this? We lost our cheerleading competition thanks to her. Me? You changed the cheer last second. I had a better idea. See, that hurts. You know, thinking that what you came up with alone was better than what we had together. We're a team. I'm sorry. I actually liked what you did. You did? Yeah. Jackie, you're a great lyricist. It's just, I wish you'd asked me before you changed it. I will next time. And I'm sorry for the thoughtless words I said. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Aw, that's great. You see what happens when we use our words wisely? When we use our words to hurt someone else, whether it was thoughtlessly or on purpose, it's always good to apologize afterwards. An apology can bring healing to whatever pain was caused. Remember, the tongue of wise people brings healing. All right, are we ready to give this one more shot at a cheer? We sure are. Right, Jackie? Right. When we use our words to tear others down, Everyone's smile turns into a frown. But when we use our words with wisdom that's real, everyone's heart can fully heal. So as we go out into the world today, let us use our words 
in a thoughtful way. Let us speak kind words that lift each other and be more like Jesus to one another. Woo! That was amazing. Jackie and Dee Dee proved the power of words. At first, they were tearing each other down and saying hurtful things to one another instead of sharing how upset they were inside. But when they did share, healing was able to take place and God was able to bring them closer once again. Let's read that whole verse one more time. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. What we say is so powerful. Oh, truly. And not just on the what's that word game show. But for life. Well said. Thank you. Reveal the question. Oh, how can your words change things? Well, like in the game earlier, once you change your words, I understood what you meant more clearly. I do like to be understood. <laughs> oh, and like Dee Dee and Jackie, it always helps to apologize when you hurt someone. Mm -hmm. It can help heal whatever wounds you may have caused. Yeah, it's the wise thing to do. Oh, and encouraging words are good too. Yeah, like when you encourage me during the game. Oh, oh thank you. Hey, how can your words change things? Talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on The, the So and So Show. Show. What's your name? Siegfried. <sighs> Copernicus. All right, let's go. Oh, I start. Okay, cool. John! Randon. Woo! Can Steve, can we do one? I don't know why. It's Come so on. Bad. That's too many words. Go! Felix. Harold. Alexander. Uh, car cantaloupe. That's not a name. Ronald. Ted. Sheevan. <laughs> uh, believe in. Oh. <laughs> I fell out of my chair. <laughs> that was not on purpose. <laughs>